Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel Math School. In this channel, I am going to teach you Karnataka Board Class 10th SLC Insert Math. In today's video, let us solve the question number 1 from exercise 8.2 from chapter Real Numbers. The question number 1 says, express each number as a product of its prime factors. We have to factorize each number and express them as a product of its prime factors. Let us find the prime factor of this first number 140 so dividing 140 always remember we have to start with the, our least prime that is 2 this number is divisible by 2 since it is an even number so 2 7s are 14 the 0 comes down then 2 3s are 6 1 is a carry then 2 5s are 10 now 35 we got it is not divisible by 2 or 3. So next prime is 5. So 5 7s are 35 and 7 1s are. So like this, we have to express these are the prime factors which we obtain. Now we have to express them in the product form. So 2 into 2 into 5 into 7. This can be rewritten as 2 square into 5 into 7. So 140 is expressed as a product of its prime factors. This is the solution. Now moving ahead to the next number. So now let us factorize the number 156. Again it is divisible by 2 because it is an even number. 2 7s are 14. Carry 1. 2 8s are 16. Again it is divisible by 2. 2 3s are 6. Carry 1, 2, 9s are 18. Now it is divisible by number 3 because it is an odd number and it is also multiple of 3. 3, 1s are 3, 3s are. Now we got the result as 13. Since 13 is an uh, prime number, it is divisible by itself. So 13, 1s are. So expressing in the product form 2 into 2 into 3 into 13. This can be rewritten as 2 square into 3 into 13. Always we will write the prime factors in the ascending order so that we get a unique um, order of the prime factors. Now moving ahead to the third problem that is 3825. Now let us factorize this number 3825. Since the number is ending with 5, it is divisible by number 5. So 5, 7s are 35, 3 is the remainder, 5, 6 are 30, again 2 is the remainder, 5, 5s are 25. So again it is divisible by 5, 5, 1s are, so 2 is the remainder, 5, 5s are 25, 1 is the remainder, 3, 5, 3s are 15. So now the number is not ending with 5. So let us try with our prime 3. So 3 5s are 15, 3 1s are 3. Okay, so again, 3 it is a multiple of 3. So 3 1s are 3, 2 is the remainder. So 3 7s are 21. Now we got 17, which is a prime number. So 17 1s are 17. Expressing these prime factors. Now here we have to arrange them in the ascending order. So I will take first 3, 3 into 3 into 5 into 5 into 17. So this can be rewritten as 3 square into 5 square into 17. So this is the result. Now moving ahead to the next number that is fifth one, fourth one that is 5005. So let us factorize this number 5005. Since the number is ending with the number 5, so it is divisible by 5 itself. So 5 ones are 0 and 0 comes down. Again 5 ones are. So this number, let us try with number 3 because it is not possible to since it is an odd number. 3 threes are 9, carry 1 again 3 threes are 9. Again carry 1, so 11 will be the last digit number, so it is not divisible by 3. So next prime is 7, so 7, 1s are 7, 2 will be, uh, 3 is our remainder, 
7 4s are 28 again 2 will be the remainder 7 3s are 21 okay so now it is not divisible but divisible by 3 again it is not divisible by 5 or 7 so next prime is 11 so let us try with 11 11 ones are 11 3 is our remainder 11 threes are 33 so we got 13 so 13 is a prime number 13 ones are 30 now expressing them in the, as the product of the prime factors so 5 into 7 into 11 into 30 okay so our last number is 7429 now let us factorize this number 7429 so since it is an odd number it is not divisible by 2 if we try with 3 it is also not divisible then 5 is also not divisible because the last number is not ending with 0 or 5 then again I tried with even 7 it is was not divisible the next is uh, 11 prime number Again, with 11, it is not divisible, so we have to divide with the number 17. Okay, so you have to divide and see with which num uh, multiple of 17 uh, this number can be divided. So let us try by 17 into 4. 4 7s are 28. 4 1s are 4 plus 2 is 6, 68. So we can. Uh, divide by uh, take the multiple 4 here so 17 4s are 68 the remainder which we get is 6 62 okay so let us now divide 7 multiply 17 into 3 and check the result 7 3s are 21 3 1s are 3 4 5 so 51 we get here so we want 6 here the number is 62 so we will take 17 3s up and then the remainder will be 62 2 minus 51 is 11 so the next number let us divide 17 by 7 if you take the result you get is 7 7s are 49 7 1 the 7 plus 4 is 11 so 17 7 are exact it is exactly 119 so we will take 17 7s are 119 okay so again it is not divisible by number 17 so uh, again i tried with the number 19 if you try and let us multi take 19 twos are 9 twos are 18 carry one two ones are two three 38 so we will take 19 twos are so the remainder will be five here because 38 minus 43 is five so again if you take 19 threes are 9 threes are 27 3 ones are 3 4 5 so 57 we got so this number is divisible exactly by 19 so 19 23 is a 437 so again here 23 is an prime number so we it is divisible by itself 23 ones are so expressing in the product form we get 17 into 19 into 23 23 these are the prime factors of this number 7429 okay this is the uh, solution for the question number one which we have completed for more videos please like share and subscribe to my channel and don't forget to hit the bell button below to get the latest updates of my videos thank you